Okay, so in this recording, we're going to look at functions with bases other than the natural exponential e. So, so far, we've looked at the natural logarithm and the natural exponential. Now, um, we move to the more general setting with the following definition. So, if a is greater than zero, a not equal to one, and x is any real number, then the exponential function base a. Um, denoted by a to the power x is defined by a to the power x is equal to e the power of natural log of a on x. Okay. So this is the exponential function base a and the logarithmic function base a Um, denoted log is a of x is defined by log is a of x is equal to one over natural log of a and natural log of x. Right, so these are the two main definitions of this recorder. Notice that when a is equal to e, these all become uh, what we've been studying in the previous two recordings. Okay. When a is equal to e, this becomes a one, and then log base e of x is equal to natural log of x, as you would expect from a college algebra course. Same thing here. If a is equal to e, then we have Natural log of e is equal to one, so this would be x to the power, I mean e to the power of x, and then x and e there as well. So everything matches up with the fun. And all of the, the properties that you know and love from college algebra are the same. So y is equal to a to the power of x if and only if x is equal to log base a of y. And okay, that's probably the most commonly used conversion. Or two, um, a to the power of log base a of x is equal to x. And that's for all x greater than zero. Hopefully you can see why that would be the case, why you get back x, because these being inverse of each other, right? This is the inverse of that, right? I mean, log base a of x is the inverse of that thing. So when you compose them, you get back x. 
part of the correct three. Um, log base A of A to the power X. These are inverses of each other again. We're going to get that X, and this is for all X. Okay, so um, again, these are properties from like a pre cal course, a college algebra course. Um, but I think it's good to kind of review how to solve uh, exponential equations, logarithmic equations. So um, solve for x each of the equations. And then part a would be three to the power x equal to one over eighty one. And then also log base two of x is equal to four. Negative four. Now I'm assuming most of you did not take college algebra with me um, or any algebra course with me. The whole point of solving equations is just to get the, the correct solution for x, the value for x which the equation is true. Um, yes, we can take a bunch of logs on both sides and just do things like that, but immediately after writing these down, I noticed like 81 is a power of three. Right, so three times three is nine, times three is 27, times three um, is 81, right? So I can immediately say that X is equal to negative four, okay? If you plug in a negative four, you'll get one over three to the power four, which is equal to one over 81, you get that. But suppose you didn't know that. Um, I suppose it'd be so gross, but like you could do log base three to the power x is equal to. I'm going to move that up and say this is log base three of um, eighty one to the power of minus one. This of that is just x, right? So this would be x is equal to, I'm going to move the negative in front, negative log base 3 of 81. And then whatever that number was, that would be your solution. It, have, it will happen to be 4 because I'll just show you. This is negative log base 3 of 3 to the power of 4, right? Three to the power of four is eighty-one. Bring in, bring down the four. We have x equal to negative four times log base three of three, which is just one, and then you'd be done there. Wow, well, this one is the same thing. That's this is two to the power two. That's two squared. But let's go ahead and I guess work out what it would be. So maybe. Um, if you're going to use any of these, I suppose, um, I don't know, you could use two or one, whichever one you want to do, it doesn't matter. Uh, maybe since we already did one by taking something on both sides, maybe we'll use the equivalents instead. So, all right, so that's true. If and only if that's true. So what's my y? So y is uh, no, 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 no. That's my, so this is like, my base is two, my power is going to be whatever's on the other side of the log equation, minus four, and then and that's equal to the argument x. Yeah. Can you do that right? This is on the other side, base a. Here's my argument, which goes there now. Right. So this is going between these. So this is true if and only if this is true. And what does this become? 
two to the power of negative four, so two times two, so it's four times two is eight, and so comes to the Since the exponent is negative, you'll look at the reciprocal. But again, these are just um, uh, kind of algebraic things. What we really need to be concerned with is the, the calculus of these, these functions. Okay, so. Um, Theorem. This is a long theorem. I've kind of condensed all of the separate theorems in this section into one piece by piece theorem. So uh, let A be greater than zero. Um, let A not equal to one. And let U be a differentiable function of X. Yeah. Okay. So, what are the parts here? So, one the derivative with respect to x of a to the power of x is equal to a to the power of natural log a times a to the power of x. Okay. Um, well, running out of room. Two derivative with respect to x of a to the power u, as you might guess, is defined in a similar way. Just use the chain rule now. So we natural log a times a to the power u times du dx. And keep going. That's the next part. So now we're going to take the derivative with respect to x of the logarithm base a. Okay. And this is 1 over natural log of a times x. And of the U version, of course, which is just the chain rule. So you can probably guess what it's going to be. So, um, yeah, this is, I guess we just do examples now. Apply this theorem. That's all this section is about. Um, find the derivative. So, part one. Y is equal to two to the power of x. Part two. Y is equal to two to the power of three x. And um, three. Uh, y is equal to log base 10 cosine x and 
therapy. So this it is the case of one prime is going to be actually yeah, one prime is just um what is it going to be? It's going to be natural log of two times two to the power x. Okay, here, using Langevin's notation, dy dx, same thing. Uh, it's going to be natural log of two times two to the power three x times three. Um, but in your textbook, I wouldn't be surprised if they wrote this as a, like three times natural log of two, but you bring the exponent up, so it'd be two to the power of three. So you might see this written as natural log of eight times two to the power of three x. They're the same thing though, because if that's multiplying natural log of two, take the power, uh, raise the argument to the power of three. All right, and then here, finally, y prime is going to be, well, we apply this guy. So this is one over uh, natural log of 10 times x. Um, I hope I wrote that down here. Um, times du dx. So du dx, so derivative of cosine is negative sine. And now one moment is something that doesn't feel right. Yeah, and I'm, I'm that was a, somehow in my notes have made it that far. That should be cosine. Yeah, I knew it was wrong, but I wrote, I wrote it down. And I typically wouldn't write down something that wrong. Um, so whatever you can tell in. So altogether, negative sine over cosine, we have 10. So this would be negative tangent x all over natural log of 10, whatever that becomes. And that'd be it. Yeah, definitely you there. Fix that in your notes. Okay, so, um, but really these are all just like extensions of the things that we've been, we've already been learning with natural logs and natural exponentials. These are just some more general cases and you just have to remember, uh, this little extra bit of information you have to do when performing the derivatives. So um, from this section, the homework that's going to be suggested is going to be uh, 39 through 59 odd. Okay. And that will end the recording uh, for bases other than E.